personal story segment tonight. As you know, 23-year-old Private William Long was assassinated last week by an American Muslim terrorist. The man, 23-year-old Carlos Bledsoe, a.k.a. Abdul Hakim Mohammed, admitted to the murder and is not sorry about it. I do feel that I'm not guilty behind this thing on the fact that I don't think it was murder. Because murder is when a person kills another person without justice for a five reason. And, uh, and uh, I felt what I did was Islamic uh, justified and also justifies, you know, common sense, you know. Because U.S. soldiers are killing innocent Muslim men and women, and we believe that, that we have to strike back. We, we believe in I for now. We don't believe in turning out the cheek. Joining us now from Little Rock, Arkansas, is Private Long's father, Darris Long. We appreciate you speaking to us, Mr. Long. We know it's a very hard time. How do you react to that kind of a statement? Well, I uh, saw that last night, and uh, I, I walked in and saw, uh, looked at my wife and told her and my sister who was sitting there, and I says, what a brilliant piece of humanity. Uh, this guy does not mean that much to me at this point. My, I've lost my son. Uh, the Little Rock PD is going to, they're working very hard on this case. Several agencies are. I have faith in them. Uh, I kind of feel like we're in the eye of the storm here. The murder, I buried my son, and now the media blitz after this. Uh, it's just part of the deal. My son was a good son. He was, uh, uh, brought a lot of joy to our life. He was very close to his sister, uh, Vanessa. She's taken this very hard. Uh, his uh, brother, we flew back in from Fort Bliss. He's serving in the U.S. Army. Yeah, he's taken it very hard. His grandfather's taken it very hard. Uh, our relationship, we had uh, our ups and downs, typical of kids nowadays. You know, they're headstrong, they know everything, and then uh, a little later, your parents get a little smarter. Well, Andy decided he'd strike out, and he was going to be, uh, he wanted to join the Army, he wanted to see, uh, see part of the world. He'd lived in Okinawa five years. Uh, we're not from Arkansas, we retired here, but he wanted to get out and he wanted to see some other things. Yeah, now the, one of the reasons that uh, I think your son followed uh, the military tradition in your family is because you yourself served your country for 27 years in the Marine Corps. And this makes the tragedy even worse, so we have a patriotic family here, a tradition. Uh, and then, you know, and I don't, you don't need to comment on this, Mr. Long, but it got me angry that your son's assassination was not covered by the media the way it should have been and he was not honored in the press the way he should have been now we've tried our best to do it here but we went over this and over this that's not your fight that's my fight now what kind of a guy was Andy I mean what kind of a kid was he just give the audience some some idea of his personality no he was uh, he was quiet he was reserved and uh, you know if he wanted to do it he would do it I mean he wasn't gonna get forced to do it it was uh, it was when it was his turn to do what he wanted to do, he would do it. And what was his goal as, an, as a, a member of the U.S. Army? What did he want to accomplish there? Well, he was an infantryman, and uh, he wanted to be part of a team. He really enjoyed boot camp. Whenever he had a chance to call, he would call, and uh, we would talk over. I was a drill instructor 29 years ago, and we'd go over what was going on there, and we'd talk about it, and he'd get an idea, and it was really good. And he was really faithful in getting a hold of his mother and his sister. Even if he talked to me, he still wanted to talk to his mother. And, uh, the, you know, this whole thing, my son was not killed because he was Andy Long. Private uh, uh, Quentin Easy Aguillo was not killed because he was some lady's son. They were targeted because they yeah, were he, U.S. I think soldiers. he was wounded. The uh, other private was wounded. Yes, sir. I went right after the funeral. Right. I was able to go over and see him right. and speak to him and thank him for standing with my son. Right. Now, listen, they're uh, fine Americans, as you are with your 27 years of service to the Corps. Uh, our condolences to your family. Mr. Long, and if you need anything or anything at all we can do for you, you just let us know. And we will honor Andy's uh, memory here, and we will make sure that people do not forget him. And if you want to make a donation, I guess you want people to donate to the Wounded Warriors Project, Mr. Oh, Long? Oh, yes, sir. We've, we've donated. Uh, uh, several organizations around Little Rock have donated to that in Andy's name and I tell you what I cannot believe the outpouring of sympathy oh, and support from not only the army the governor uh, representative Snyder here uh, the people of Arkansas but all over I've got a bucket full of cards that I need to answer well and I am going to we are going to donate fifty thousand dollars to wounded warriors and we're going to put that in Andy's name I, I really appreciate that's that. all right it's the least we can do 
Um, we appreciate it, Mr. Long. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir.